guys, it's Tuesday and today I wanted to help you quiet your mind and sort of help you ferret out some of this uh, crazy nutrition stuff, okay? Um, <clears throat> there is a ton of information out there for nutrition. It can be very overwhelming. Anybody who's searched the internet for what food will help me lose weight? What is, should I go high carb? What about high fat? Will that help me get, get my gains in the gym? There, there's a, so many people have an opinion, a philosophy, or an approach, and that's okay, um, but for the rest of us, we don't know whether to scratch our watch or wind our butt, right, as the saying goes. So, here's why. Because there is no one-size-fits-all approach to nutrition. And the sooner that you understand that, the sooner you're going to reach your goals, okay? Um, Barbell Shrug put out a great podcast not long ago that uh, sort of broke down the different approaches to fitness or to nutrition. And I, I wish I had done it first because they, they kind of nailed it. Um, but along those lines, I, I've sort of tweaked their idea a bit. And, um, and, and here, here's how I narrow down the three approaches, okay? There is nutrition for wellness. There is nutrition for weight loss, and there's nutrition for performance, okay? At the very basic foundational level, anybody who goes and searches for help for, or for nutrition is looking for one of those three reasons, okay? They have a health issue they need to, to correct, or they've got a goal they want to meet, okay? So, what does nutrition for wellness looks like? It looks like chia seeds in my overnight oats and um, raw collard greens in my salad and um, trade uh, fair trade coffee and coconut oil in everything. Okay, uh, lots of raw veggies, um, oh, lots of um, raw milk. Okay, get me. That's what nutrition for wellness looks like. Nutrition for weight loss is a calorie deficit, lots of hunger, um, eating things that you may not necessarily eat otherwise, but you've got a goal and you have to stick to it, and it's the only way to get through. Um, yes, tweaking macros here and there, um, probably m more on the low carb side, higher fat, okay? That is nutrition for weight loss. Then you have nutrition for performance, and there's two spectrums there. There is sort of the maintenance, right? You, you're, you're plugging along, you don't want to gain weight, you don't want to lose weight, you just want to kind of stay right where you are, and and, and keep your training, uh, give your training the momentum that it needs to, to um, improve, okay? Then there is um, nutrition, performance nutrition for gaining, for, for weight gain, for muscle mass building, and that looks like high carb, um, and a lot of nutrient timing there, really, it's calorie surplus, very, very high calories, um, that is nutrition, performance nutrition for uh, massing. And then there's performance nutrition for endurance work, which also looks totally different. It's you know more on the ketogenic side. It's more uh, very you know high, super high fat, really low carb. I mean, I'm talking like anywhere between five and ten percent of your calories are coming from carbs. Okay, um, and um, that is often about nutrient timing, also. Okay, so. How do we sleuth this out? How do we figure out what you know what's going to work for you? Um, only you can decide that, right? Um, you need to figure out first and foremost most what your goal is. We talk about goals all the time, right? Josh is generous with his time to offer um, a, a sounding board to figure out you know, where you want to go, what you want to do, where you want to be. Okay, um, but. And you, when you want to focus on your nutrition, you have to commit to something. Just like you would commit to any goals you talk to with Josh or any of the other coaches, you have to commit. Think about it. What do I want from my nutrition? Do I want to get stronger? Do I want to lose weight? Do I want to improve my stress management or my gut health or uh, sleep better or whatever? Once you've determined what your main goal is, I mean, we all want all of these. So say we want to get better working out, we want to lose weight, we want to be, you know, not yelling at our kids so much, of course. But you have to pick one. Again, one thing at a time. What's the most important one? Prioritize, okay? Then ask yourself, what's realistic? Can I go on a regimen right now and be consistent? Because you're never going to reach your goals if you can't, ha if you don't have consistency. So, want to talk about it? Hit me up. Um, I'm not taking um, um, long-term three-month clients right um, after after today, actually, uh, or after tomorrow. Um, but if you have some goals and you want to talk about it and see, you know, what you want to do um, and uh, uh, about some things off of me, I'd love to talk to you. Uh, hit me up. Send me an email. I don't do Facebook Messenger. Thanks.